worlds I've conquered. How many Avengers I've killed. You. You talk to ants. Why did the much anticipated Ant-Man 4 never make it to the big screen? Today, we're diving deep into the behind the scenes decisions in the larger Marvel multiverse narrative that led to the cancellation of one of the most awaited sequels. Come, let's unravel the complexities of film production, fan theories, and the intricate web of storytelling that might have sealed the fate of Ant-Man 4. Marvel Studios is known for its grand storytelling spanning multiple movies. With the end of Infinity Saga, they've embarked on a new journey, the Multiverse Saga. This saga explores different realities, and Quantumania introduces us to Kang the Conqueror, a villain who can move between them. As Marvel discussed Ant-Man 4, there have been discussions about a fourth Ant-Man movie. Producer Steven Borosad mentioned that they were already thinking about it, and conversations started among the key people in Marvel Studios. This indicates that while nothing is set in stone, the idea is certainly on the table. Why would Marvel consider an Ant-Man 4? The Ant-Man films have been a mix of action, comedy, and heart, contributing significantly to the MCU's lighter side. Paul Rudd's portrayal of Scott Lang or Ant-Man has been well received, and the character has become a fan favorite. Given the success of these movies and the character's popularity, it makes sense for Marvel to consider continuing the story. Why is there speculation about Ant-Man 4? The Ant-Man series has been a unique blend of humor, action, and heartfelt moments. Paul Rudd's portrayal of Scott Lang, the titular hero, has been a hit with fans, making the possibility of a fourth installment a topic of interest. The third film, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, set up significant plot points that could be explored further, fueling speculation about another sequel. What factors influence the decision to go with a sequel? Several factors come into play when Marvel Studios considers a sequel. These include the storylines' natural progression, audience reception, box office performance, and the availability of key actors. Each of these elements must align with the studio's vision for the future of the MCU. Has Marvel Studios made any announcement? As of now, Marvel Studios has not announced plans for Ant-Man 4. This silence could be due to various reasons, such as focusing on new characters and stories, or integrating Ant-Man into other MCU projects. The studio is known for its strategic planning, ensuring each film serves a purpose within the larger narrative. Could Ant-Man 4 fit into the current MCU phases? Marvel's phases 5 and 6 are already packed with exciting titles. Introducing Ant-Man 4 into this lineup could risk oversaturation and detract from each film's individual impact. Marvel Studios must consider whether another Ant-Man film would enhance the current phases or if it would be better to weave the character's story into other films. What about the actors' contracts and availability? The actors' contracts are a significant consideration. Paul Rudd's initial contract covered his appearances in the first three Ant-Man films and other MCU movies. Any further appearances would require new negotiations. Additionally, the actors' availability for filming is crucial. If key cast members are not available, it could prevent the production of Ant-Man 4. Does Quantumania set up a sequel? The end of Quantumania does not explicitly set up an Ant-Man 4. Instead, it teases that Kang will return, referring to the new villain introduced in the film. This suggests that while Ant-Man's story could continue, the immediate focus may be on Kang and his impact on the MCU. The ending of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is not just a conclusion to the movie itself, but a gateway to the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What happened to the end of Ant-Man 3? In the climax of Ant-Man 3, we see the Ant family, including Scott Lang, Hope Van Dyne, Cassie Lang, Hank Pym, and Janet Dyne, facing off against the formidable Kang the Conqueror in the Quantum Realm. Despite Kang's immense power and his ability to destroy timelines and defeat Avengers from alternate universes, our heroes manage to outsmart him. With the help of the Quantum Realm's freedom fighters and an army of highly intelligent ants, they thwart Kang's plans. Why is Kang such a significant villain? Kang the Conqueror is a time-traveling despot with the ability to manipulate multiple realities. His defeat in Ant-Man 3 is crucial because it sets the stage for the multiverse saga. Kang's character is linked to multiple variants, each potentially more dangerous than the last. His presence in the MCU is a ticking time bomb, promising a ripple effect across the entire multiverse. How does the ending connect to future Marvel movies? The defeat of Kang in Ant-Man 3 is just the beginning. The movie sets up major plot points for future installments, particularly Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret War. These films are expected to delve deeper into the multiverse and bring back Kang's villain experience, escalating the stakes for the Avengers and the entire MCU. What role does Cassie Lang's Quantum Realm device play? Cassie Lang's invention, described as a quantum equivalent to the Hubble telescope, is the reason the events of Ant-Man 3 unfold. 
The device could have far-reaching consequences for the MCU's multiverse, potentially serving as a tool to monitor or even navigate the complexities of different realities. What do the post credit scenes reveal? The post credit scenes in Ant-Man 3 are crucial as they hint at what's to come. The mid credit scene shows a council of Kang variants, indicating that although one Kang was defeated, many more exist across the multiverse. This sets up the premise for Avengers the Kang Dynasty, where these variants will likely play a significant role. The end credit scene, on the other hand, teases the return of a character from the quantum realm, suggesting that the realm itself will continue to be an important setting in future MCU films. How does Ant-Man 3 set up future Marvel movies? The ending of Ant-Man 3 is not just a conclusion, but also a prologue to the next phase of the MCU. With the introduction of the multiverse and the concept of variants, Marvel has opened up a realm of infinite probabilities. The battle against Kang and the survival of the Ant family have laid the groundwork for future conflicts and collaborations. The quantum realm, once a mysterious and uncharted territory, is now at the forefront of the MCU's narrative, promising new adventures and challenges for our heroes. Marvel Studios has introduced a key aspect of this universe, the concept of the multiverse, which has been increasingly prominent in recent storylines. The multiverse is essentially a collection of alternate universes, each with its unique version of characters and events. This concept allows for a vast array of storytelling possibilities, enabling characters to interact in ways that would otherwise be impossible. What is the multiverse? The multiverse concept suggests that there are multiple universes existing parallel to our own. Each universe within the multiverse is a unique variation, potentially with different outcomes for familiar events or entirely different realities altogether. Marvel has been exploring this concept through various movies and TV shows, expanding the narrative possibilities with its cinematic universe. That's where Ant-Man 3 introduces us to the Quantum Realm and its implication for the multiverse saga and the introduction of Kang the Conqueror. How does the multiverse affect Marvel's storytelling? The introduction of the multiverse allows Marvel to explore new creative directions. Characters can meet their alternate selves, and events can have different consequences than what we've seen in the main timeline. This also opens the door for the introduction of new characters and the return of those who may have been lost in previous films. Why is the multiverse important for Marvel's future? The multiverse is crucial for Marvel's future as it provides a way to refresh the franchise without rebooting it entirely. It allows for the continuation of stories even after major events like Avengers Endgame, where significant characters' arcs come to a close. The multiverse can bring back these characters in new forms or introduce successors who take up their mantles in alternate realities. How will the events of the multiverse saga affect the individual journeys of characters like Ant-Man? The impact on Ant-Man 4, the multiverse concept, has significant implications for the Ant-Man franchise. The third film, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, delves into the quantum realm, which is key to understanding and accessing the multiverse. Marvel enthusiasts are super excited about what's coming up in the MCU. With Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret War on the horizon, there's a lot at stake and plenty to look forward to. How will the quantum realm factor in? The quantum realm, a subatomic dimension, is expected to play a crucial role. It's speculated to be both a battlefield against Kang's forces and a nexus point for heroes and villains. This realm may hold the key to unraveling Kang's plans and could be the setting for some of the most mind-bending battles in MCU history. What can we expect from Secret Wars? Secret Wars promises to be an epic crossover event, potentially bringing together characters from various universes in a showdown of cosmic proportions. Inspired by the iconic comic book storylines, it could see heroes and villains forced to fight on a patchwork planet known as Battleworld. Could the cancellation of Ant-Man 4 be just the tip of the iceberg in a series of unforeseen twists within the Marvel Cinematic Universe? What other surprises might be waiting in the wings? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your fellow Marvel fans, and subscribe for more.